Home of Racing and Hall of Fame this year. Tell me a little bit about your creation. Well, when I was asked to do it, and I felt very qualified to do it, being that I was around at that point when Ali Darner Firm raced, and so it's, uh, I, was, I was very young, but, but yet again a race fan and running to the races all the time. And because I didn't live in New York at the time to see the Triple Crown, the last of the Triple Crown race, race um, what would happen in California is because they had all the racetracks running Santa Anita, Hollywood Park, so when a big race would come, they would always have like on the TVs. So you could run and watch the race on the TVs there because there wasn't so much on our regular TVs at home either. So that's how I got to watch the race and see this Triple Crown winner because I had missed Secretary at New Seattle Slough. So it was a special one for me. What's it like to see something live and then have that opportunity and the ability to recreate it, you know, a couple years later? What's that? What's that like as an artist to have that ability? How ex is it exciting? It's a rush because what it is is you are trying to, as excited as I am about the sport and about particular races, you want to convey that to others because yeah, it's like what I live for, stuff like that. And you've just had an affinity for horse racing for a number of years we talked about. I was in art school at the time. My parents took me to the races for the first time and I fell in love with it and everything changed and everything in art school was horses, horses, horses. Everybody goes, don't you want to paint the figure? I go, no, not yet. This is a, uh... and then I took a job as a hot walker to even do more. Yeah, I fell in love with it. And you're here all track season and how exciting is it? Do you get excited for, you know, a summer in Saratoga to show off your work and have people appreciate all your work? It never goes away. I, um, if it ever did, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I love it.